JLL released their commercial real estate transaction reports today. In studio with, it, with, in studio with us to discuss the findings is Zandile Makoba. She's the head of research at Jones Lang LaSalle, South Africa. Uh, Zandile, thanks so much for your time. This mm -hmm. commercial report, whenever I think about commercial property, I think about these big industrial buildings and then you wonder how relevant is this? But tell us, what does this report tell us? Okay, so the report really covers uh, the investment in properties in South Africa. We looked at mainly um, the real estate investment trusts of the country and uh, exactly which buildings they were looking to buy in uh, or, or get rid of actually within the year. Um, when we talk of commercial real estate, we're looking at your uh, industrial as well as your office spaces and then as well as your retail spaces. Um, and we're interested in seeing where the trends are going, uh, what uh, property investors, investors are seeing value in, and what really that then means for the future outlook of uh, commercial real estate investment. So what are some of those trends? I mean, who, people who are going to look at this report, what are they going to say, well, that's interesting, we can use that? Well, overall, um, given the climate in, uh, during 2014, uh, the environment was very uncertain. There was a, a um, credit downgrades that the country saw. Inflation was high. Uh, we saw weakness in the rand. And that really creates a lot of cold feet within uh, investors. It's interesting to note that um, the decline in investment was actually driven more by a lack of uh, available investment properties than a reduction in buyers in the space. And that's really because there's nothing else to put money in, especially when the environment is, is a lot less uh, strong. So uh, especially office and retail, there was a decline in the values uh, sold there. But the opposite was actually true for the industrial sector, which, show, which uh, saw a rise in both the sizes of properties sold as well as the values in properties sold during the year. Mm -hmm. Zandile, another uh, piece of information from your report, investment in the office market in 2014, so last year, we saw a 68.7% contraction from 2013. It's just very interesting to note that point because over the last couple of months or so, we've been seeing uh, these uh, office booms, uh, especially around Santon, and a lot of our market analysts have been interested about uh, the popping up of office space. Mm. So is this a trend that's likely to continue and would you be attributing it to the same issues you've just mentioned? Within the office space, there's actually been quite a lot of develop, uh, developments like you've mentioned. And um, the slowdown as well is uh, related to that. Um, with a lot of uh, investment going into the construction of buildings, there's also a bit of uncertainty about what will happen with remaining buildings. When tenants move out of the older buildings, there's also a, a rise in vacancies of uh, office stock. And that decline uh, puts pressure on rental rates in the in the office uh, market so that in a, on its own can actually be an opportunity for investors given that your higher um, valued properties are likely to be uh, kept within the asset holders that have them at the moment so um, you're looking at your c grade and b grade buildings being vacant and looking to um, be developed in other ways uh, at jll we have tetris which works a lot with um, internal spaces and how they can be better utilized for uh, office use. So there's a lot of uh, different things that can be done and there, there's opportunities within that space. Well, thanks very much, Sandili. Sandili is from Jones Lang LaSalle.